Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We start with the public transit now on the road to recovery. Trains and buses around the Bay Area are getting more crowded as people head back into offices. New at 6, Kit Doe on what you can expect if you're getting back on board. Kit? Yeah, so Bay Area Transit is recovering, and the numbers help to tell that story. We're very excited about what we're seeing for ridership. Glenn Hendricks is the chair of VTA's board of directors, and no wonder he sounds optimistic. VTA had steady increases in January, February, and March, topping out at more than 41,000 total weekday riders. Overall, VTA ridership is still down about 75-ish percent of normal, but that number is improving. And today, VTA announced they're cutting the social distance between riders in half. It had been six feet. It's now moving to three piece and this will dramatically increase the capacity we have on our vehicles to serve the community. In the North Bay, more smart trains are running, another 10 getting added on weekdays, another 12 trips for Saturday, where previously there were none. We wanted to make sure we captured people as they started, um, you know, partaking in their life again. So going to work, um, doing leisure activities on the weekends, and we wanted to make sure that we were going to be a part of that. And BART had a big week last week, hitting ridership highs since the pandemic began on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And check this out. These are weekly occupancy charts for one of BART's busiest lines, SFO to Antioch, going back 20 weeks to the start of the new year. More yellow means more riders. As the vaccine rolls out, you can see more yellow squares start to appear, a visual cue that, yes, more people are riding BART. Do all these extra people make you nervous? Yes. Brittany Bastida says she definitely has noticed more people on BART, and it's going to take some getting used to. Now there's people standing next to me or sitting next to me or there's like a kid on their lap, and I'm just not comfortable with it. You're not psychologically prepared for that. Yes. <laughs> Kit, what are you hearing about Caltrain traffic? Yes, yeah, so uh, Caltrain just released uh, their latest numbers, and they're very far off pre-pandemic numbers, but they are climbing. We've got to average weekly riders back in January, right around 3,000 or so, and that has climbed up steadily. The latest numbers in March show that number nearly 4,000 average weekly riders. So they're on their way up. It's coming back. Everything's slowly coming back. All right, Kit, thank you.